Hello everyone. E claim e nog ne kutara. Claim nog ne kari. Claim nog naz. Claim nog nifu. Claim ba tu pugi. Claim ne bo. Greet everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe yet. Try and subscribe. Like, comment. It will not take you anything. It's just for the support. You're supporting us. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you again. So, what I'm about to say today, you are, we want to talk about how to escape poverty. How to what? Escape poverty. There are four major things you have to do for you to escape poverty. Which is, number one, you, have, you need to have a job. You need to be doing something. Number two, you need to change your mindset about money. And number three, you need to know how, you need to understand and know how money works. And number four, you need to have financial intelligence. Understand? So, these are the four things you need to do for you to escape poverty and be rich. So let's start from number one, job. You know, having a job, having some. You must be doing like having a job. You must be doing something that is bringing money. I don't care if if it is your dream job, you know, whatever thing you are doing. I don't care. Just as long as you know that that thing you are doing, that money is coming outside. You understand? You are adding value. You are adding value to your company or whatever, to anything. You are doing work. In the morning, you know, you will come out, you know, waking up in the morning and going to work and then come back and not going to sleep or work on yourself also. You understand? For you to achieve your dreams, you need to achieve your dreams. Or do you have a dream? What is a dream? A dream is what you want to achieve. You understand? That thing you want to become, that is a dream. So for you to achieve that, you need to have something you are doing that is bringing money. Whether it's 9 to 5 or 8 to 5 or 7 to 7, you are going to work. Make sure you go to work, you know. You are working. Make sure you are doing something. Because you cannot sit down. You cannot sit down and expect manna to fall from heaven. Manna will not fall from heaven, though. That will happen for Bible. I mean, that one, it, it don't share it. You know, if it happen again. Understand? That one don't happen. You know, nobody. Understand? And government is not going to help you. So now you go help yourself. You need to understand that this life is 100% your responsibility. Now you go run arm yourself. Nobody go run arm. You get it. So you need to have something you are doing. You must be busy. Understand? And they say, once you are busy, the God will bless the handwork of your hand. You understand? So you need to get something and do. You must do something to make money so that money will come. You understand? So, number two. Number two, you, need, you, must, you must understand. You need to change your mindset about money. What do I mean that you need to change your mindset about money? Changing your mindset about money is that maybe as you are working, once they pay you, once they pay you, understand? Don't go and spend the money first. I'm going to spend the money and keep the one that is remaining. You have to pay yourself first, even if it's 10%. Pay yourself first, understand? How can you do that? You do that by getting to account understand get to account you understand you get to account one for spending for your expenses that is for your bills you know then one for your, your saving and investing understand once you get money pay yourself first if it is 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent pay yourself first keep that money separately Adult invest that other account that you are, that is not expenses understand account that other account will serve as your savings and investing the other account will serve as as your as your expenses where you pay your bills or going out understand that is you run house bills anything you want to do but that other one you keep it for only investing you only invest the money on business that will bring more money or on something that 
But you can invest it in developing yourself, acquiring more skills, skills that, skills that will elevate you, the skills that will make you more money than you are making now. Understand? So that money, don't touch it. That's how you change your mindset about money, because money is not for spending. Understand? Money is not for spending. It's for investing, and investing, and then saving, saving and investing. Not only saving, you know, and as I, if you can save from now to how many years, you will not become rich by saving. Because bank will just be using your money and be loaning people. And as I, I give you small, small interest, where you no know, reach anything. So once you save money to an extent, once you reach some kind of level where you know that you can use this money and invest on something, just take it and invest. Either on things that will bring money or on yourself that will you use it and make more money after learning the skill or acquiring the skills. Understand? Change your mindset about money. It's very it's easy, but it's very it's hard, but it's easy. Understand? How can you change your mindset? By knowing that it's, whenever you have money, buy asset instead of liability. Understand? What is asset? What is liability? Liability is something that takes money from your pocket. Understand? And Asset is something that brings money to your pocket. Understand? Anything where they bring money, put inside your pocket, an asset. But anything where they come on money for your pocket, a liability. So you need to know the, the difference between the two. And if you can know it, my brother, sister, you go, you will get money. Money you know will lack. Understand? So always buy assets. Don't buy liability. Understand? So number three is that you need to understand how money works. Understand? You need to understand how money works. How do money works? Understand? You need to find out. Read. Understand? No, just the careful for hand. Just how money works. You need to, how, how does money works? By listening to people where they say they talk about money. Understand? And always your circle way people where they deal with make sure say that they talk about money they are talking about how can we make money how can you make money understand normally if you talk about football talk about girls talk about you know flexing by the end of the day are they are they talking about business i won't take makeup i won't take elevate understand understand you need to understand how money that is what i mean that you need to understand how money works understand you need to you need to research find out how money works Understand? And how does money works? Money, money it speaks only one language. It says that, save me today and I will save you tomorrow. Understand? And if you have money, if you use it and buy assets, like I said previously, if you use it to buy assets, I swear, you, you no go lack money. You no go lack money. So what I'm trying to say is that, learn how money works. So that is number Three. So number four is you must have financial intelligence. You get financial intelligence. Always financial intelligence. Financial intelligence. You know they have so many intelligence. Understand? Some people, you know, this uh, we are talking about. We are not talking about educational intelligence. Uh, it's a bit more. It's a bit book. It's a bit right. Be, no, that intelligence. They different. This one about financial intelligence. You need to have financial intelligence. Like, you know, rich people they get have financial intelligence. That's why they are able, that's why they are where they are today. You know, they know how they know how money works. They know how they will put the way they go channel their money, we go bring more money for them. You get understand you need to have financial intelligence. I have financial intelligence is going to help you to invest your money wisely you understand they have to it will help you financial intelligence will help you to build to build your wealth to become rich financial intelligence intelligence will help you to escape poverty and how can you get that um, financial intelligence is by reading financial books listen to financial tips if you're on YouTube or in TikTok or Facebook, make sure you follow people where they talk about financial, you know, how to make money, you understand? Because from there now you can grab and also have your own financial table. But mainly you have to read, read a lot, books about financial, about finance, you understand? About how money works, 
Understand? If I not only by reading it too, once you read it, once you read the financial intelligence stuff and read anything you have read about financial intelligence, make sure that you apply what you learn. Understand? Because even if you like read all the financial books, be reading it and reading it, and you are not applying what you are learning, my sister is not going to work that way. Understand? So you have to apply discipline. Understand? Discipline yourself to read and and also discipline yourself to act upon whatever thing you are reading. Understand? Because a great man once says that if you follow the track of the fortunate, it's very, very certain that you're going to be fortunate. Let me say it again. I said, if you follow the track of the fortunate, it's very, very certain that you're going to be fortunate. So what I'm trying to say is that you have to, you have to really, really learn from the rich people. Understand? Whatever thing anybody will say, get money today. Understand? Somebody talked to him, or he learned from somewhere. But what else do you learn from them? Do what they do, legally, and you will become rich, and be comfortable. Because I know everybody wants to be rich and comfortable, but let me tell you, I'm not. I'm not going to lie for you. It takes hard work. It takes financial intelligence. It takes being value like. It takes adding value for you to become rich. Understand? So where are you adding your value? Don't are you scared of taking steps? Don't be scared. Don't be don't no fear. No fear. No the fear. You know say fear, fear, eh? Fear they have stopped so now fear now they cause so many things. Understand? Fear just be like mirage. I don't know whether if you don't if you don't try like me now. If I want to travel, go east now. You go there for road. Where you go up, or you go to see. You go be like say water day, water day for road. For you go be like say water day for that front road. But once you reach that place, you go see see there is no water there. It's just a mirage, and that is fear. And what is fear? Fear is false appearance, appearing real. Understand? They are not real. So many things you are you are scared of. They are not real. Why not just take a step, get a job, find how money works change your mindset about money money is not for spending once you get it invest some and spend some don't spend everything because even if you have one million if you like me the end one million every month my brother my sister if you are not saving anything from that one million if i use it to buy cars buy a liability buy anything Buy cars, buy Gucci, Louis Vuitton, those just to look flashy, understand? Just to look rich. <laughs> you know, you are not rich, understand? So, you know, buy assets, understand? Once you buy assets, then the assets will not buy you the Valenciaga, whatever thing, understand? The assets will pay for whatever thing you buy, understand? To escape poverty, you must buy assets. Then when the assets start making money, you can buy whatever, to buy cars, buy Louis Vuitton because you already have that asset. But if you are only doing a job, you are you're only depending on your job and you are spending the money lavishly like, like that, my brother. Once that job starts start stop coming, once the job stops coming, ah, sorry you, sorry you. Once the job stops, okay, you just go back to scale one, and you now blaming government or blaming your boss. Forgetting that 